Hello, I'm Adrian at excelattheoffice.com and in this video I want to show you how to get rid of the most annoying feature I've ever found in Word uh, which is track changes. Now you'll recognize track changes because what you'll find, I'm using the latest version on Office 365 Word where uh, Microsoft Word, sorry, where you'll see the uh, boxes come up in a pane on the right hand side it is a real pain uh, you'll see a preview of uh, a kind of line running down the paragraph where changes have been made on the left hand side and any text changes will be shown in red when new changes are added and you'll be uh, wondering what's going on um, and it highlights it in red and underlined oh my god how do I turn this off it's so annoying on older versions of Word as well whenever you deleted something it would cross out the word it would put a strike through uh, the text and then but now when you delete something if you press delete while track changes is on it just bungles it in the uh, sidebar here that says whoever edited it just deleted something so let's get to the very quickest way that you can turn all this off if you're not fast if you're happy with whatever changes anyone's made and you just want to get on with things what you do is go up to the top panel here on the ribbon go to review so all the tracking changes is under review oh look tracking changes is on but we don't need to worry about that because the way to switch it off in one click is nothing to do with this tracking uh, panel of that part of the ribbon it's under this accept um, so you just click this button under the accept for more options and here's your magical button to switch it all off accept all changes and stop tracking I press that thank you very much it's all gone nothing's in red I can edit this document which is my uh, just a blog draft I did about um, exit interviews a while back wow brilliant I've turned that all off so now for some more information about track changes if I just press undo again go back to my review panel as you'll have noticed I've, my track changes is no longer switched on uh, for more options you can choose whether it's tracking changes for everyone or just your own changes I mean I, I, I rarely ever find a use for this but I can imagine it might be useful in very strict circumstances like uh, compiling legal documents and you want to track the different amendments different parties have made but generally it's used by people who don't trust their colleagues uh, to make changes that they like which is uh, in my view I think that's a bit uh, possessive <laughs> and ultimately a bit of a waste of time I see it more uh, I find uh, I've, I've seen it more in the pub when I've worked in the public sector rather than uh, private sector. Um, but anyway, it's uh, I, I just find it annoying. Uh, but some of the stuff uh, there are uses for it, uh, and when you do see them, you'll see them pop up here, and you can go through and it accept them in the accept pane uh, one by one, or uh, not approve them and so on so this one I'm pretty happy with I deleted an N from the word and so that's corrected that so I'm just gonna accept that I'm gonna I deleted the word hello let's accept that and so on you can work your way through the document and accept or decline using this button here um, rejecting items uh, throughout the document. You can show all markup if you really want to use track changes I'd advise doing the all markup. You can also have simple markup but that only shows you where a change has been made um, it's not easy to then uh, accept or reject uh, the changes. So yeah and when you're done but the qu quickest way when you're done with everything accept all changes and stop tracking if you just want to get rid of the feature so I hope that's saved you some time and a few heading uh, headaches just to recap the heading you'll find that under on the ribbon is review and the track changes if you want to switch it on or off it's on the uh, tracking section of the ribbon but if you just want to quickly turn it off never be done with it 
and never see it again on your document. Just accept all changes and stop tracking under accept. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, I'll put a blog on excelattheoffice.com just to run through the key highlights with screenshots. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you found it helpful. Please like it, share it, and I'll speak to you again with another video sometime soon. Take care.